Hi, uh, Jill. Really good session of the day. Hope you found it helpful. Just going to run through those points now that we discuss in the session, just to try and get a bit more distance back into your game, get it more of a consistent strike, especially when you're using this hybrid club that we had here in the lesson. So the first thing we're going to talk about now in terms of the swing, we want to make sure we actually complete our backswing so we turn our body. If we look here on the left-hand side, there's very minimal sort of shoulder rotation. It's mainly sort of just a picking up with the arms, so just placing the club now over your right shoulder. So because we haven't created any power on the backswing, we're now trying to create some power or add the power on the downswing. As a result of that, when we come into the golf ball, if you watch this swing, we can see sort of pulling up with the arms here, left arm now really close into your body, the left foot lifting up with the heel off the ground, and most of your weight now is positioned back on this right foot. And that's obviously going to reduce a lot of the power in the shot and get the sensation of you actually sort of swinging the club in some ways too fast because your arms aren't really sort of being controlled. You're just swiping them down there as fast as you can. So what we're looking to try and do now is get the shoulders to rotate in the back swing. So we can see now your left shoulder, your back now is taking the club and moving and rotating. So our back, as we can see, pointing more towards the target. From here now, we're going to get the body to rotate and keep the width in the swing. So the arms now staying nicely away from the body, a much fuller movement now. And you can do this move as fast as you like because the body now is swinging rather than just the arms. If you look at the finish position now, all that weight now has positioned off that right foot onto your left side, right foot up on its toe and a full rotation right the way through the target. So uh, just try and make sure we complete the back swing on the way back, try and create the power. And then we just release all that power to the golf ball by twisting our body through rather than just sort of pulling our arms down as fast as we can. So... Hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously, feel free to give me a shout, and I'll see you soon.